kids have tantrums. You have to understand that this person is expressing the fact that they cannot express to you how they really feel. You're not understanding their words. So the only way that they can talk to you is through their actions. Well, the guy I was talking to at the time, he was like, you're just going to let her talk to you any kind of way. We let her talk to you any kind of way now. She's going to talk to you any kind of way when she goes older. And I remember thinking in that moment, like he was judging my parenting style. He was mm -hmm. judging the fact that I was allowing her to tell me, mommy, I don't like that. I never had that. So I realized the reason why I'm passive aggressive now is because I wasn't able to speak up. So I allowed my children to speak up because I feel like you learn at home and you take what you learn at home out into the real world. So I wanted to make sure that my children had no problems telling me how they felt at all times. So yeah, I allow my children to tell me that they're not happy with something. Now, does that mean I'm like, oh, I'm so sorry you're not happy with it. Let me go make sure that you are. No, oh, I'm sorry you're unhappy with it, but you're gonna have to figure out a way to deal with your emotions. You know, do you wanna write? Do you want to journal? Do you want to go outside and play? Do you want to take a minute to yourself and breathe? A lot of times we're not even giving children coping mechanisms. And then we become adults who don't know how to cope with things. Right. Right. It's like, it's like it's a cycle. And then they start teaching their children and their children start teaching. It's just, it's just a bad vicious cycle.